off by one. So we're not going to be able to see it right now. Okay, so it did go off because he gave stats. Nice. So now he does have those permanent stats. Hey everybody. Today we're testing out a new strategy. This involves the manatee and the hatching chick. The hatching chick gives temporary stats and the manatee hurts itself, then buffs another pet. With this combo, we can turn temporary stats into permanent stats. Kind of. As always, like the video if you enjoyed, and if you want to see more of this content, you can subscribe down below. If there's other games you want me to try, leave a comment down below. One more thing, I'm also starting on a giveaway. For my first 1000 subscribers, 5 of them will be winning all of the packs from Super Auto Pets. All you have to do to enter is subscribe and like the video. For more details, look in the description down below. Yeah, how it goes. Ooh, nice. Two more chinchillas. Okay, that kind of sucked. Okay, and we take another loss on this one. So now we got two level ups. Hopefully we can get... There we go. There's a hatching chick. And what else? Another hatching chick. So we will... I think we sell the pig, get some extra money, and then we'll put the chinchilla in front. And then we'll keep rolling. I don't think we keep going for beetles. Now we got an 8-8. Eight, eight. That's perfect. Big chinchilla. Okay, we'll keep rolling. Get another duck. One more duck? No. Okay, we'll just keep going how we had it before. And this big chinchilla is putting in work. Nice, and we have enough. Okay. There's another duck. So do we get... We don't get the manatee, but I think we can sell... And go lynx would be good. And then... I think we keep rolling. Eel could be good. Yeah, I'll freeze the eel. And then... Hopefully we can get um, a level up so we can try to get the manatee. Nice. I think the next thing to go is the beetle. So we'll sell the beetle. And we'll, I think we'll switch them around like that. I think that might be a little bit better. There's another hatching chick. I don't think we leveled up yet because I want to show off the temporary stat buff with the manatee. Okay, so we take out their bus and that is a big beetle. Okay, so I think we sell chinchilla, get some extra money. Use pineapple on the lynx. And then try to get a manatee. Nope, no manatee. We'll just go double eel then. I don't think we go... I, I held that skunk for nothing. I should have unfroze it. Oh, So now we just got two big eels and they're not big enough because the chili... Okay, there's the manatee. So we will combine here, bring in the manatee, and then a level up, that's great. Another manatee, and another manatee. I was hoping for another manatee. All right. So he gives him plus four, plus four, and then he takes five damage, if you saw that. And then he doesn't have that underscore right there, which means this is all permanent stats. And that is a big ox, but we're good. So on next turn, I'll, I'll show it again. There's a chocolate. I think we go there 
and then we'll level up here as well. Um, I don't think we go for any of that. Okay, so he's at 13, and then he's going to get temporary stats. Oh, no. I messed up. So now it's temporary stats because he had higher attack. Oh, I forgot to make sure that he has higher attack, so his ability goes off first. Okay, so I think I'll flip these around. And then we just need to get him some attack. So what would be good? Taco, but that's random. That's not good either. Maybe we do that just to try to decrease it a little bit. Oh, off by one. So we're not going to be able to see it right now. Okay, so it did go off because he gave stats. Nice. So now he does have those permanent stats. So now, basically, he's just taking one less health each turn. Instead of taking full hive, which is huge. So I think we just keep doing that so he stays alive. And then... Um, I think we put it on him. Yeah. We'll keep going. And then he takes 5 damage. So now he's at 12. And he's getting statted by the manatee as well. So our eel is getting huge. So I think if we put something like... Ooh. It's a good thing he didn't spawn anything. Um, I think if we put something like... There's another manatee. Like chili? Is there chili in this pack? There is. So chili's gonna be huge. Yeah, so now he's at 11, so he just took one. That's perfect. Okay, so I think we're big enough to take him out. Nice. The eel's putting in the work. Okay, then we'll stat him up. Don't think we need any of that. I think chili on him is good as well. Maybe we just put chili on everything. Nice. Ooh. All right, so the chili. Oh, we're not strong enough. Down to two hearts. And then... Do I go lollipop and switch it around? No, because he's, he's basically maxed out. I think we just go for some more money. Alright, so now he's down to 10. And our other hatching chick is getting buffed up like crazy. Nice. Nice. There we go. The chili's putting in the work. Alright. So I think we get a little more attack. Okay. I'm kind of debating adding him to level up and bring in the tiger just to do more damage. That's great. I think we hold off one more turn. Chili is good. Yeah, I'll hold off one more turn. Now he's down to nine. That is a healthy team. Oh, shoot. Okay, so... We'll go like that. Two tigers.
And then I think we... I don't think it's worth it going level three eel though. There's another eel. Plus two, plus two. I'm going to go with pancakes instead of chili. See how we go. Oh, and our manatee's going to die. Okay. Oh, and everyone gets peanuts. No. I thought this was the run. All right, so we got a good start going. Kind of like what I said before. Um, we're going for the manatee hatching chick combo. Go with the dry hedges. So basically the hatching chick will give temporary stats to the manatee and then the manatee will buff another pet and then hurt itself. But the damage that it takes is gonna be less because we're giving it temporary stats. Ooh, I've taken all of that. Oh, not our silk moth. Yeah, there's another loss. Oh, I thought I froze that one. Did I not, did I not freeze that? Dang, that sucks. Um, we'll get rid of the pig. And then... I think we'll switch it around like that. Hold the silk moth. Dang, I thought that we froze both of them. Nice. Looking good. Now we're looking a little bit stronger. So here's another level up. Hatching chick, perfect. So we will go like that. I think we go dromedary and I'll just bring in another chinchilla to try to get a level up for next turn. So then he's going to get buffed up. Dang. That was a strong team. Okay. There's another chinchilla. I think we get rid of the... We'll get rid of the chinchilla because it gives us a lot of money. And the beetle is just better in battle. And then we'll give him more stats. Nice snipe. We're big enough to take them out. Nice. There's another dub. There's a level up. We do not get the manatee. I guess we're just going to keep going with the eel. Or, yeah, the eel. Just need to get a level up with the manatee. Ooh, the chili is rough. And we barely make it. By one heart. Okay. I mean, eagle's good. I'll take the eagle. And then we're just looking for that manatee. We're not going to get very far if we're just focusing on the eel. Oh, the freaking mole strat. Luckily, we're big enough to take him out. So the skunk's... There's the manatee. So we say goodbye here. Bring in the manatee. So he's going to be doing three, four, five, six, seven damage to one. I think skunk is better here. And then 
Sure, we'll go grapes. So he gets plus four, plus four, and then takes five damage. And then that underscore under the health goes away, which means it's all permanent stats. So he's just taking one less damage. All right. So we don't want to level him up because then he's going to be taking a lot more damage. And then we'll add Chili to the eel. Just so he can do a little bit more damage. Yeah, so we take out the links. Yeah, there we go. We're looking good. There's a level up on the eagle. And then... Okay, that's not bad. I wonder if we do cupcake, if it's still gonna have that underscore. So he gives it to him. Yeah, it still has the underscore because there's still a little bit more of the temporary stats. So that's not bad. Gosh, dang. Good thing we had the chili or else there would have been a lot more moles. Okay, there's another manatee. Um, we'll keep looking for... I guess chili and pancakes is pretty good. We'll do both of them. So I'm trying to get a level up on the manatee and the skunk. Okay, so we're a lot bigger than he is. Nice. The boar was a great hit with the eagle. Okay, right, there's another manatee. Okay. I think we go mushroom here instead. And then... Mm, maybe a little more attack for him. It's not great. Oh, he's got the walrus. And there. Ooh. That was a great hit. And we draw. The freaking peanuts in this build. Okay, we'll put pancakes on him. And then I think we just try to go for, yeah, level two skunk. And then get a little more health for everyone. So he's getting 150. Okay, summon team. This is pretty good because we got a lot of health and chili. There we go. On win nine. So chocolate, we could level up here. Uh, I don't want to, I think we just go here, give him a little more health. And then I think we go pancakes over the grapes. So then everyone gets a little more stats. Ooh. Oh, and we did get hit. Okay, so ours is better. Nice. There we go. We even got the level three eel. So that's the hatching chick and manatee strat right there. All right, let's get this going. Getting a decent start with two or three mosquitoes. So we'll go with the bubbly boogie man. Is it men or men? I thought I said man. Nice. There's a dub. If we could get 
um, pineapple onto these guys, that would be really good. So we'll have a level up for next turn. Can we take out? Ooh, we take him out. Nice. And there's a draw. I'm perfectly fine with the draw. What do we get here? Um, yeah, I'll go eel. Eel is... Oh, I bought the wrong pet. I meant to buy this one. Oh, well. Um, then we'll get a level up again for next turn. All right. And we're good. I think we got a pretty strong combo here. Ooh, there's the hatching chick. Um, maybe we can get a manatee. When do we get, is that next turn? Yeah, so we're gonna have to level up into a manatee on turn five or six. So basically I saw that if you take the hatching chick and you put it right behind the manatee, the manatee won't die and it'll give permanent stats instead of temporary stats. Um, we'll try to go level three. Why not? So that's going to be pretty strong doing three damage twice. And then we have a 10-10 to take out the rest of the team. All right. Go there. Okay, we do get a level up. We do not get um, the manatee, though. And then we'll have a level up for next turn, so that's great. Ooh, that's not good. How much health did it did that dolphin get? Okay, level up here. Um Eagle is just better. And then I think we just go grapes to get some more money and we'll we'll try to roll into a manatee. Okay. Ooh. Oh, we're good. Our mosquitoes too strong for them, but not super strong. Come on. I mean, there's another hatching chick. I want a manatee. Don't get it. Ooh, there goes our eagle. Oh yeah, we lost this one. Their snipes were too strong. There's a nurse shark as well. So I think we say... Try to get a level two. There's the manatee. So I think we say goodbye to the silk moth. And then we'll run it like that, I think. Maybe we can also get a chili for the manatee. So he's gonna take damage, but then if you saw that right there, that little underscore went away. So now he's at 10 health instead of um, the 15 that he was at. Okay, we lose that. But pay attention to it again. So he takes five damage, but since he gives four, um, he's only losing one health each turn. So it's not really worth it to upgrade the hatching chick though. Maybe a chocolate cake right there. We're kind of saving everything. Yeah, so he'll go from four to nine. That's a pretty nice thing to do. 
Ooh. Oh, we barely survive. Um. Dang it, I was hoping for the Highland Cow. Make me say goodbye to Mosquito. We don't need another hatching chick. And then we need to find... A Highland Cow. Okay, I'll do a level up there, so then he'll go to level 3. Okay. So this is not... Oh, they got the snipes as well. So our chocolate doesn't go off. Oh, and we barely survive. Alright. Um, throw it on there. I think doing mushroom is just better. And then we'll go like that. Okay, we need to find something with trumpets because the nurse shark is doing nothing. Okay, so we're bigger than him. Oh no! They had a strong team. Okay, there's another eagle, but I think we're good. I mean, maybe we just go tiger to survive. There's the Highland Cow. So what do we get rid of? Um, I think we say goodbye to the hatching chick to get the Highland Cow. So he's going to heal him up. And then... So he's going to get more trumpets because of that. No, we don't go another manatee. Um, we'll just let him die. And then we'll replace him with the tiger. Oh boy. Okay, so he loses one of them. No! 